All right, our second topic this week. There uh, was a recent story, and this was deep dive by ProPublica, and then the Texas Tribune published as well, or you know, published uh, the, the, a story as well with this. Uh, and it went into the 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 journey of a conservative Republican Texas school board member who initially, when they ran for office, they they were you know in, in really in deep as far as all of the the allegations and that there's all this indoctrination going on in schools and that, you know, like this, this was this leftist plot to, to, to make everybody a communist and stuff like that. And then, so she runs based on these platforms, gets elected and starts a deep dive into the curriculum, but ultimately couldn't find any of the stuff that she was, that she ran that said that she has to get out of the schools and that, and so forth. And so she had, what in many respects could kind of be considered a come to Jesus moment and, you know, decide, okay, well then she goes back and tells the people like, Hey, this stuff isn't there. We, we should be, we we should be happy. And she found that the people who had supported her in this journey to try to rid this indoctrination, get, get some, this indoctrination out of the schools, which she learned wasn't there. were not happy to hear this. And in fact, we're upset with her for even putting that information out there because then they wanted to keep banging the home, banging home the idea that they got to get rid of the indoctrination that, she determined wasn't there. So, Tunde, what was your reaction to, to to reading this lady's story? And we'll have this, you know, in 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 the show notes. But what was your reaction to, to reading her her story and her her journey with this, and then all the the difficulties she's had since then with her former allies who are still, you know, on these quests to 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 to, to fire people up and tell people there's all this indoctrination, even though she's coming back and saying, "Hey, there's nothing there." Yeah, I, I thought it was actually. Um uh, that uh, the word profound comes to mind, maybe not that level, but it was, it was very good uh, uh, to read it because I feel like so many Americans, I'm talking like to me, tens of millions, I think of Americans fall under this woman's category. Cause I look at her as actually a very genuine person. Um, someone who was given information that she believed and she wanted to do the right thing by her community. And I think a lot of Americans fall into that category. They're not bad people. They don't sit there and, and curse their neighbors out every day. They don't wake up every morning trying to hurt someone. But what happens is they, they, they have disinformation put in front of them purposely to disturb them emotionally. And it gets them all fired up. And then they go down these rabbit holes and, and, and go on these missions to get rid of whatever that thing that got them passionate was. And we can go through various topics. But I'll give you an example because, they, they, first of all, her name is Courtney Gore. And this took place in the Granbury Independent School District. So there's quoted from a Facebook post in 2021 where she says, over the years, our American education system is, has been hijacked by leftists looking to indoctrinate our kids into the progressive way of thinking. And yes, they've tried to do this in Granbury Independent School District. And then she wrote after, I cannot sit by and watch their twisted worldview infiltrate Granberry ISD. And look, I'm sure that if I was told that somebody was trying to tell my kids something crazy in my school district, I might be very passionate as well. And then I would do what she did. I would go look into it. Um, well, she, she actually ran joined, for office one. Yeah, she, and she, then won, she joined the school it, board. Yeah. yeah. And then so and then she went and started looking into this stuff and going to schools and say, what's going on? And then. She found, like, and she even says it, I won't quote and, and keep reading, but she kind of says, like, what I found is that they're actually trying to teach kids, like, to be kind to each other and to get along and yeah, to be nice learn how beings. to talk about their feelings. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, that's the same stuff I got taught in, like, kindergarten and first grade. Like, that it's, and it's the same thing my kids have been taught. Like, Socialization. Socialization. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, and with, with a lot of this, um, because this, this came out in recent years, that part of this is, um, you know, something to do with uh, there's competition about who can sell things to school districts. So some of this I've learned has come from um, those who are like trying to compete with Scholastic to sell books to school districts that are trying to muddy the water, saying there's all this stuff that's bad with what the schools are teaching now. So I find that, you know, like we find when look, you just start plain old corruption rocks. in that sense. Yeah. Just plain old so like, I was oh, gonna say, let me, let me smear my competition. Rocks, yeah. Yeah. For other topics, you'll find sometimes there's some sinister financial motives as well. But no, that's, that's to me where I found it like kind of refreshing to see an honest person who was, who was told something, went and looked at it and said, nah, you know what? This actually is not what I'm seeing here. 
Well, let me go that, tell you that's that I'm the not piece seeing that's, this. The piece that stands out to me about this is the the extent to which this lady has character. You know, Miss Gore has character like that. We're not used to seeing people with character anymore. You know, like it's it it really seems to become now some of this is is just confirmation bias. You know, like once you take a, a, a position, once you have a certain mindset, your brain automatically filters the whatever you see to emphasize the things that may support that and to ignore the things that don't. So you have that. So you have to subscribe a certain level of intelligence and intellectual curiosity to this person as well. So, again, I got a lot of compliments for her because. The fact that this stands out so much really does reveal her as, as exceptional in this way. And then that that she can go and, and be hardcore on this position, go get more information, allow that information to actually sink in and then say, hey, you know what? I was wrong. How often do we see somebody say that? I was wrong. Like I got to I did. I was what I what I said before is not what was happening at all. And in fact, now, and then she didn't just say, OK, well, I was wrong. I, my my you know balloon is out of out of air. I'm just gonna go hide somewhere. And she actually still stood on principle of trying to make her school system better and said, "Well, I'm gonna stay around and I'm just not going to to fall for the banana in the tailpipe anymore." You know, I'm I'm gonna actually start saying, "Hey, no, this is not what's happening. Hey, what we're doing is." And she's making allies in different places now, as far as other people who are just trying to make the school system better. Part of what's happening here, also, you know, the the undercurrent here is that. This is also a part to undermine confidence in public schools by people who want to allow private schools and religious schools to get state money as well for students and be funded in a similar or comparable way as, as, as public schools as well. So there's a lot of agendas going on, many coming back, you know, follow the dollar, so to speak. But the that's someone that, that she could be one of the people that's tied up emotionally in, in an issue and then get more information, be able to digest that information and then actually say, actually, based on my current understanding of things, this is the, the, these people are trying to lie to you. There's what's really happening. Like I said, that's that's very rare in our society today. So much so often it, it's almost expected. Again, this is kind of like the thing, like we don't even expect people once they've taken a position, if they have more information, we don't blink an eye if they just still stay with. Well, I just think that anyway. And we don't even blink an eye anymore. And it's like, well, wow, you're a very intellectually dishonest person. And that's kind of the expectation now. So that this stands out says a lot about where we are as a society, but also says a lot about her. I mean, and I got I got yeah. like, I got nothing but positive stuff to say about her that that's a lot of character to be able to say, hey, you know what? I was looking at that wrong. I got more information. And now here's what's really going on. Yeah, no. And and the the I agree with you. And, and that's the thing that's refreshing about it. Um, and it's almost like, you know, like science, like she took evidence I was like, wow, okay, this evidence needs to change the facts then that, that I thought, or at least what I thought was facts, now I can see aren't facts because I've witnessed well, it changes with my your own position. Eyes. It changes your, yeah. like, like science would be like, it, once you have more information, then in science, like if you think that the, the earth is flat, then if you get more information, you're supposed to say, oh, okay, I thought it was flat, but now I have more information and now I think the earth, or the, the earth is a sphere. Yeah, and, and I'm going to read a few other things from you. I mean, one of the, the people that influenced her was actually Ted Cruz, the senator, his father, Rafael Cruz, who's a, a, apparently an influential pastor in, in the state of Texas. And he says, um, quote, uh, they have a quote from him. It says, we need to make sure that strong, principled Americans, those who uphold our Judeo-Christian principles that have made America the greatest country in the world are elected to school boards. And then he says, because I'll tell you, the left is controlling the school boards in America. And it's the same thing. And, and that's where I, I feel sorry for a lot of consumers of this stuff on the right, because they've been assaulted now for years, uh, especially the last four or five years, with basically this, this, this kind of propaganda. And it's interesting because they want to, people like Mr. Cruz want to blame somehow that it's these other people trying to indoctrinate their kids. But I kind of feel like well, what you just said, first of all, no one is taking away the Judeo-Christian kind of spirit of, of the culture of American people, right? No one's ever proposed to, to do something else with, you know, uh, you know uh, change that. You know, and that, that goes back to the lies we've talked about on prior shows about Sharia law being a risk in the United States. Um, and then this idea the left is controlling the school boards in America. And again, the left to me is no different than Hitler talking about Jews in the 1930s, which made up 1% of the German population. That if you just get rid of this group here, then everything else will be fine in our lives. And I just think that, like you said, falling for the banana in the tailpipe, that so many people in our country now have been 
indoctrinated to believe that there's this cabal of people trying to do stuff when all I'm seeing are people like Mr. Cruz trying to upend generally the system that's been there for a long time. And um, whether that's good or bad, I'm just saying that I've had kids and I still have, my youngest is still in school. He's 13. No one's tried to make him wear a dress. No one's tried to make him go to a drag show. No one's tried to teach him CRT. All that stuff is not happening generally in schools. Um, but there's so many people being told it's happening. And that's why, again, it's refreshing that this woman is being so honest. And like you said, she's taken it to the next level by creating new relationships um, to, to advance what she's doing. To try and yeah, she actually took those principles it. seriously. You know, like it wasn't yeah. just I'm going to talk about these principles in order to to push some other agenda. I, she took the principles seriously and was like, okay, well, yeah, this is what I'm here for. And it, it, I think you're correct, though. Like to see, anytime you can see from kind of the inside the 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 way the effort that's put in to kind of deceive people, to fabricate things in order to deceive people. What really stands out about this, and it's really a shame is the extent to which there's so much effort to 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 invent things to say things that you know aren't based in fact that are designed to turn people against their fellow countrymen like there's so much effort right now in order to do that like oh these people oh, your point these people are are trying to destroy you these people are trying to do this these people are trying they're trying to destroy your kids they're trying to and there's so much effort that goes into that and you can see why we have a country that that's pretty divided because it's like well and, and the question is okay so why would they do that it's about control but what it resembles i've said this before it, it, it resembles like kind of like that that abusive spouse that wants to isolate their spouse so that they don't feel that they can go to other people for help or anything like that like they want to all of those people are out to get you. All of those people are, are, if you go to them, they'll laugh at you. Or if you go to them, they'll do it. And it's like, it's really nasty if you think about it, the, the way that the manipulation happens to make people feel isolated and hostile towards their fellow Americans. And the reason being is so that, hey, you come to me and I'll make you feel safe. Everything else you need to be afraid of. Everything else is out to get you. And I mean, I, honestly, it, 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 it's a shame. It makes me feel bad, you know, in yeah. that sense. And well, to see this happening. And again, that's why I can applaud somebody like this, uh, because, you know, that she was able to overcome that, basically, because she was told all those same messages. And when she got that information she, and, and, she, and, and that it wasn't true, they told her to shut up and be loyal. And it's like, well, yeah. loyal to who? You know, loyal to 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 be, feet, have, be to you. And that's again, that's that control thing. You know, the, yeah, I want to steer you. And that's authoritarianism, because. Yeah, to your point, they wanted her to be loyal to the party, for example, versus being loyal to the kids, right? And being honest. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's authoritarianism 101, what you just stated there, that, you know, try basically being an abusive partner and telling everyone um, that, uh, you know, don't look over there. I'm your only route to salvation, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's, it's interesting. And I think that's where she is very unique in our discourse today because, you know, it reminds me of things and I hate to keep bringing up this, this kind of topics, but like the big lie. I mean, there's I'm still waiting on evidence from Donald Trump personally to just lay out exactly how the election was totally stolen from. Him. And it's been four years and I haven't seen it and the courts rejected it and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's 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 it, we have well, all these play examples. on this. And I, I want to get out of here, but that's a good point yeah. to raise because I think this needs to be said. It's a play on emotion because when you, something is based on emotion, you don't need to prove it, and that's yeah. the key thing here. And that's the that that was the problem, quote unquote, with Mrs. Cole is that she wanted she she got elected and then didn't set out to just you know blaze a trail you know or you know fire and brimstone. She tried to go prove it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she saw there was no proof. And so that's always the key. Like whether it be again, you know, like we, we talked about it a couple weeks ago, the Iowa caucus was rigged when, when Trump didn't win. And it's like, well, I'm not going to, he's not going to prove it because there is no, the, the point isn't to prove it. The point is that you need to believe him on faith. And so with all of these things going to prove it is, is, is almost, that's disloyal in itself. And so that's why, that's why the plays are that's always why, on emotion. That's why I'm laughing at the clown show in Congress where they screwed up in impeaching Joe Biden and why it failed is they actually proved that he uh, gave his son 1300 bucks for the car payment or his, or his son <laughs> gave him, a, you know, once yeah. they actually showed evidence of something, everybody's like, 
Oh, that doesn't look like anything. A dad really. gave the son. <laughs> they just, just kept it all vague car. and nebulous. Yeah. You know, the guy might have been impeached already. <laughs> yeah. So, but I, I do want to close up this topic. Uh, again, we appreciate everybody for joining us. We'll have one more topic for today. So please join us for that as well.